Hi, my name's Sam and I've been reviewing the Summer Infant Baby Monitor and I have awarded it four and a half stars out of five. Uh, this is Theo, so he's been helping me with my review. Um, he's just having a little snooze at the moment. Um, the installation of the monitor was really easy. The instructions were very straightforward, step by step. Um, pretty foolproof, lots of diagrams to help. Uh, we were up and running within a few minutes. Um, the monitor itself, you can't see it because it's dark in his bedroom, but it's a really good quality colour monitor. Uh, and it's got a, a wide angle view as well. So if you've got it set up in a playroom, you'll be able to see a good part of the room. Um, there's not too many buttons to get confused with. Um, then the pretty self-explanatory, really, there's a talkback feature so you can um, reassure them if they've started to cry. You can zoom in and out to get a closer look. Um, there's a button on the top where you can turn on a soft glow nightlight in, on the actual camera in the bedroom. Um, turn the volume up and down and off. Uh, and then we really like this. It's a little menu there. You can install up to four cameras, which I think is a really good idea. Um, you might have one in the bedroom, you might have one with a Moses basket if they sleep somewhere else in the day. Um, you might have one in a playroom and then you can use the menu and flick through and find the one that you need. So you don't have to be moving that camera around all the time. Uh, we thought that was a really good idea. Um, it also works on battery. It doesn't take too long really to charge up. And um, after a couple of minutes when it's working on the battery, the video screen turns itself like onto standby, turns itself off. Um, but the volume still works. And across the top here, there are up to five orange and red lights. So if they have started to stir, you might get a couple of orange lights. And then if you've got full on crying, it'll go all the way up to the red lights at the top. So as soon as you can hear them or you can see the lights, you can just flip the screen back on to have a look at what's going on. Um, if you're using it a lot and you keep flicking the video back on, the battery doesn't last very long. Um, but with the video screen turned off, it lasts for hours. We've had it last all night uh, just by flicking it on and off a couple of times to see what's going on. Um, so we really like that, you know, you don't have to always have it plugged into the mains. Um, the only thing that we didn't really get on with was this button on the top. The power button is shared with the button that turns the night light on in the bedroom. Um, so there's quite a few times that we've accidentally turned that light on. And Theo is used to sleeping in the dark. Um, so if we've accidentally turned it on and he's stirred, his attention has obviously been drawn to that light. It's not usually there. Um, and it's meant that he's woken up. Um, so if that button had been separate and the, you know there's no danger of doing that it's quite easy to turn it on um, we would have given it 5 out of 5 I couldn't find another reason to, to not have done so um, but just for that reason we've given it 4.5 stars out of 5 we've found it really useful we've never used a video monitor before but it has been really useful to understand his um, sleeping patterns and when he is only stirring not when he's waking um, and it's something that we would definitely recommend to other parents.